In this set of videos, we will take a look at strings in C++. Now, the main thing to remember with C++, or the main thing to uh, note, is that uh, there's two kinds of strings. One is just an array of characters, just a raw array of characters. Uh, you can use strings like that. That's the old or C style strings that uh, still exist in uh, C++ or that is you can still use C strings in C++ but the preferred way to use strings is using the string class which comes from the standard libraries the C++ standard library okay so there's two ways um, the, you want to learn about how to use the uh, array type for strings that is the uh, usual um, C strings that, that everybody uses in C um, which is not highly recommended because it's very unsafe to use and then the other way is the standard class library string the string class which is sort of like the Java um, string class and we look at how to manipulate uh, strings there's all these tools to there's all these um, functions that can do character I/O. That can you can get and put uh, and things like that. Okay, um, this is just a repetition of what we just said. Basically, there's a C string, which is just a raw array of with a base type of car, and car is just a byte in uh, C++. If you remember from Java, car even though it's uh, spelled the same and all that in Java cars are 16 bits or 2 bytes because in Java you can we can have Unicode in cars in C they are just 8 bytes so here's the big difference is that when you use an array to have to, uh, when you use C style strings with the, which are just arrays you always need a null termination so the end of the string has to be marked with a null or this is always shown as a character uh, character that's represented using backslash zero okay so it's not the number zero it's the value zero so it's all, all bits are zero all eight bits are zero okay so it's always shown as a single character so this should be single quotes uh, backslash zero this is an older uh, way of representing strings is inherited from C. The better way to use strings is definitely to use the string class. This uses templates, which is this uh, C++'s uh, version of generics. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how to use C style strings. So it's just an array of type car, and you can have any number of uh, elements, uh, up to, I guess, about 2 billion probably. Hopefully we don't have strings that long. And you'll have one character per index variable and ending with one extra character, which is the slash zero. That's called the null termination or the null character. It marks the end of the string. So you have to have that. Otherwise, if you don't have that null termination character, typical loops that process strings will look for that. And if you don't have the zero, I mean, if you don't have the null, then you will probably go out of bounds and remember in C++ you can go out of bounds with strings and uh, C++ will let you do that it will get let it'll just let you do all kinds of stuff that you shouldn't do so you can imagine all kinds of problems that are resulted uh, from missing null characters and that's usually how um, people who write viruses and worms try to probe a system for for problems is to use these use the fact that strings in C um, don't have a fixed size you just you, you rely on a null termination character to figure out where this where the string ends so we have used C strings when you do something like uh, um, s is equal to or string s is equal to in double quotes hello that double quotes hello is stored as a C string and the thing to note is that even though there's only five characters in here, this is an array of six things. Okay, so five characters plus uh, 
uh, null character at the end. This is the end marker. So that's if you remember that that you need an extra space for the null termination character. Every string has to have that uh, null termination. Then you can probably use C strings safely. But a lot of times people forget. So you will declare an array of characters just like you would with um, array of ints or something. You say the type, in this case character, name of the array, and then how many things you want in it. Okay, so this declares basically, this is really, uh, if you just look at it on the surface, this is just an array of characters. Almost always arrays of characters are C strings, and so if you look at it that way, this has nine locations that you can have characters in, plus one terminating null character. It gives you a total of 10. Okay, so you don't have to fill all 10 slots. You can declare some array that's large enough to hold the max size string that you expect to have, and then somewhere in there, even at location 0, that is the very first location, you can have a, you can have a null character indicating that you have an empty string. So you can have um, an array of 10 characters, put a null character at the very first location, and that's just equivalent to a null or empty string. Okay, so can't repeat this often enough because I know people will have a hard time with this, but the only difference between um, saying that this is an array of characters and saying that this is a string is that the string must have the null character. Okay. So here is a character array with 10 locations, 0 through 9, and because there is a null character at location 7, um, this the string is hi space mon exclamation. So this is the string 0 through 6, followed by a null termination character. Okay, so this is how you want to look at it in, uh, in memory. So remember that um, arrays always have contiguous memory. That is, array location 0 is right next to array location 1, and 1 is just after array location 0 and just before array location 2, and so on. So this is always arrays in... C++ and C in Java, C Sharp, just about every language. If you have an array, the memory locations are actually right next to each other. That's how they. That's how arrays work, and that's why it's uh, very efficient to use loops and arrays together because loops just go down these memory locations. It's very easy to set that up in uh, at a, a low level. So you can initialize a C string using literal constant. So this is just a literal string constant. In this case, it's just an array with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then remember the tenth location for the null termination. So we have 10 locations. We're putting that into a 20 location array called my message, and that's fine. You wouldn't be right to have a 5-location array initialized to a 10-location string. That would not work. It would work, but uh, chances are your program will have bugs and stuff. So uh, is it C++ won't flag that as a problem. If, you, if this were 5 instead of 20 and you did this, might not actually flag you as a... Comp uh, as a the compiler might not say that there's anything wrong, but chances are uh, your program won't work. Let's just try that. Actually, I'm just curious to see what that will do. So let's do car s and give it 10 locations. So let's just give it 5 locations is equal to hello, so something that's obviously more than 5 characters. Okay, so I don't know exactly how much it is, but it's more than five. So let's print this out. C out. Yes. Okay, it's a very simple program. Let's compile it. Let's see if we have any problems. Actually, yes. 
characters, this array of characters is too long. No. So in C, um, in C, I think you could get away with it. So in this case, C++, it's good to know that uh, C++, the compiler, is smart and says there's no way you can fit that. So let's see how much we need. So H-E-L-L-O, that's 5. There is another 5 space. That's 11, 12, 13. Let's see if we can get away with 13. We know that we need 14, right? So 5 plus 5, that's 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so we need 13 spots for the characters and then an extra null termination space. Character is too long. So def this, is all, this is good news because it tells us that C++ compiler is actually very careful. Once we get to 14, we're all set. Good. Okay, so you might want to try this, those, especially those of you who are in Computer Science 248. Try doing the same thing in C, and I think in C, you chances are you won't get a compiler error like we got here in C++. Okay, so you can actually omit the array size completely if you're initializing something uh, with a literal string constant, so you, can, you don't have to put in a number. It automatically sets up an array with just the right size. So for example, for ABC, it'll give you an array of size 4, so three characters plus the null termination. Okay, so you could do something like this. Um, you can say car, string, and empty, open, close, square brackets, and then use the curly braces to initialize the array. And these actually, I think, should be single quotes for this to work. I don't think this will work. Let's just try that to make sure. So. So this should work. A plus B plus C. Oops, not plus. Sorry. Comma. Comma. And let's omit the size. This should work. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. here's the problem. So we see ABC and then we see all, see all this other stuff. So we definitely need this null termination character. So I use single quotes with the null termination character. This should work better. So here that we got all this extra stuff because there wasn't a null termination character, I believe. Let's run this. Oops, forgot to save changes. All right, so this time around it worked. So take this null termination character out and things don't work. And also the other thing is, let me try what the book has. And I think what the book is saying is that you cannot do this without the null termination character anyway. All right, let's do this. I don't think this will work. So the double quotes, yeah you cannot do. So I'm guessing that's a typo. This should be this should be all single quotes and it's not the same as um, this will compile, right? It will as we saw, it'll compile, but it's not going to be a string. So also the there's the other problem is that this should be single quotes. So if I've managed to confuse you the problem is that this sets you up with an array of four characters, A, B, C, and then a null termination character, which allows you to use it as a string. But then if you take this out, there's no compilation problems, but you cannot use it as a string. That's the difference.